Oh wow. But I think the way Sapin is doing it is it's really placing or putting um, Sapin itself on a higher level than what it was and it creates awareness and it also creates a platform for education about property and how you can use and leverage property to actually do a lot of things. It's not just about identifying investors, but it really is about moving the nation forward. And um, I'm really honored to be part of such a progressive initiative. It's more important for the typical South African to understand anybody with enough focus and enough energy in the property industry can make money. And the truth is, it's not really just about making money, it's about an entire country that needs an economy that to thrive, an economy that shines and people should be happy in the country. And the truth is, property will always be one of the cornerstones of any economy. I'm super excited. I've just come from Daytona Cars, where I was networking with 50 property investors and specialists in the industry. And it's just, you know, I've actually been quite overwhelmed in the last few days, but everything's turning out just as planned. You know, in property investing, there are a couple of things. You want to find good deals, but you actually want to find relationships. And in my world, relationships are where the wealth is actually created, right? And I'm talking wealth, not just in monetary value, but in the people that we want to work with, do business with, do joint ventures with. And when you're networking with these kinds of people, this is where the future lies. Because in this, it's not only fun, but also creates that kind of you know, inv the investments that we really look for and want to what, that we thrive in. A lot of people haven't realized what property can do for them. And our property can really just release a whole different form of life and quality of life that people haven't been fortunate enough to experience in South Africa. So I think by being exposed to the winnings of a place like tonight, people can see that anyone can do it. You know, every single South African has the opportunity to own a property. On the table, drum roll for me the winner of 2019, the innovator, it's I, I, I still don't have words to actually describe how I feel right now. I'm just honored to have been recognized um, as, a, as a winner in the innovative category. Every single thing that we've gone through in the last six months since our stock fell has launched has been worth it. It's been worth the recognition that we've got today. So it's been absolutely worth it. Property is actually, it's, it's a smart and safe investment. It wouldn't be one that I would doubt. All I would say is that do the research first. Uh, I'm one of those that just jumped in. Uh, and I'm, I was lucky, but do the research, uh, and it's definitely profitable if you do the research. Get a coach that would help you a lot. I'll say them. I came into the network without knowing anything at all. That's number one. Uh, number two, I used to come into the network, and I never, never used to network with anyone. But the moment I started networking with other people, and basically, networking is just having a conversation with the next person. I started finding opportunities with other people. Other people had money. Other people had opportunities. And I just started connecting the dots. And I've made money out of it, helping those that don't have and helping those that have. And I live a little bit for myself. And today I've got an award being recognized within this community. So it's an awesome feeling. <laughs> If it makes it possible that I'm able to reach more people, make a bigger difference and help other people on the same road to 
having, well, the best word I can think of. The importance for me of this event is for the last you know, eight months, we've been traveling the country, speaking to investors on the ground. And what tonight is all about is bringing them into the room and getting to know them on a more personal level and to start networking with high network individuals. Hey, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. How's everyone doing out there? Hey, welcome to the Property Academy. My name is Leo Slava, um, and I'll be taking you through this webinar today. So, was that a cool video or not? I see we, wow, I see we're close to 200 people on this webinar here today, right? So, welcome, guys. As I said, Leo Slava, I'll be taking you through this webinar today. We'll be plus minus an hour or so. Um, and what I want to do today is I just want to give you a few ideas and show you what we're doing at, 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 at the Property Academy and show you, what you what's possible for you if you're interested in property. Um, but before we start, right, I just want to ask you guys, just see where you're from, because I see there's close to 200 of you on this webinar now, so we're going to have, that's going to be an exciting one. Um, so I want to see where you are in South Africa and what's your experience? Are you just starting out? Um, have you bought a few properties? Are you, are you looking to buy more? Do you have more than five properties? So um, we've got a poll up there. So just click there where you're from. Are you from Joburg? Are you from Bloemfontein? Are you from Durban, Cape Town? Are you curious? Are you looking for a deal? Have you started? Just so we can, so, so I can see who I'm talking to here. Okay, are you guys voting? Let's see. So where are you? Okay, I see you guys are voting. Have you done your first investment property? Okay, the poll is there. So we've got curious. Okay, I've started. I'm looking for a deal. Most people are looking for their first deal. Johannesburg, okay. Cape Town, got a few people from Pretoria, Hazard, Peter Maritzburg, Bloemfontein, PE. Okay, so we got people from all over the country here. Nice. Okay, so, it's, so, so this is good because what I'm going to show you here today is I'm going to show you a few deals that's a few deals for, for the beginner guys. And then what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to work my way to a few bigger deals for the more advanced guys. So that's good. So we've got a bit of a mixed crowd on here. And, if, and we've got people all around South Africa. Okay, exciting, exciting. Okay, guys, are you ready? All right, let's go. Okay, guys, we've got a few rules for today. All right, you guys are probably saying, but Leo, that doesn't look like you in that corner there. And you guys can see what's happened with the lockdown. I've grown a bit of hair and a bit of a beard. I've actually just shaved it for this webinar today. It was a bit... Um, rough so i thought let me let me neaten it up for today my wife didn't believe i had hair because i've shaved my hair for the last 10 years so this is the first time in 10 years that i actually have hair what do you think what does it look like does it look okay okay but anyway she thinks it looks fine <laughs> um so guys we got a few rules for today so i haven't come to this webinar to give you a speech what i want to do here today is, uh, is i want to give you strategies right I'm gonna give you strategies that, that you can go apply and that has changed my life. And if you take action tonight, we'll change yours. So I wanted to do a couple of things here. I wanted to have fun. Is it okay for have fun? Hey guys, rule number one, have fun, right? We've got an hour together, so we might as well have fun. Is that okay? Can I see in the comments, anyone here wanna have fun in this webinar? Okay, all right, okay. I see you, I see you. Right, yep, yes, I see you, Keanu, Linda, Marie, Shanre, Karabu. Okay, there's a few people I know on here. Lawrence Bull, what's up, my brother? Okay, we've got people from Kimberley as well, Middleburg, nice one, Sean, I see you, Sanjay. Okay, guys, so we're gonna have fun, right? Because who likes a boring speaker or a boring presenter? Anybody here? 
Anybody here likes a boring speaker? Or anybody want to put out their time and be bored for an hour? No, Keanu, no, 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 no one, right? Okay, that's good. So no one here likes a boring speaker, right? That's good because I don't like a boring crowd. So guys, I know this is a webinar. I know I'm in my house, you in your house, which is good. Don't go anywhere, you might get caught. Um, so let's have fun, right? So I'm gonna ask you to interact with me. I'm gonna ask you to give me 110%. And say, guys, are you with me? Comment, um, raise your hands, vote. Because they say how you do anything is how you do everything. So I'm gonna ask you to, to, to participate. Right, so in the comment section, put down a comment, um, raise your hands, there's a button there. I'm gonna ask you questions, so I want you to participate. Another thing I also want you to do is I want you to have an open mind, right? So I want you to open your mind right now because I'm gonna share some things here that you might have heard and some of the things you might not have heard, right? It might go against what you've been taught by your parents or at school. So I'm gonna ask you to have an open mind. Is that okay? Have you guys opened your mind yet? All right. I'm gonna ask you to have an open mind. I like your socks. Yeah, <laughs> cool socks. Eh? I can't show you my socks now. <laughs> um, so I have an open mind. I heard a man say a while ago, he said, he said, if you think you know everything, that actually means you don't know nothing. All right? So you gotta leave some room to learn. But I guess that's why you guys are here. You've taken out your time um, in the evening to come learn about property, learn new strategies, learn how to raise finances and how to invest in property. And I'm gonna be your coach for this hour. And what a coach does is a coach leads his team to success. So by the end of this webinar, I want you to be clear on how you're gonna move forward, right? So I've spent some time and some money with the Property Academy learning the strategies I'm gonna share with you here today. Okay. okay. I think before we get into it, let me just tell you a little bit myself, who I am, where I'm from. Let's move this to the side here. Um, so my name is Levo Slava, and I'm from Boxburg. We have anyone from Boxburg on this webinar? Um, that's my beautiful wife there on the left. Her name is Montez. Um, that was our wedding day picture there. And I'm a university dropout. I couldn't keep a job. And the reason for that is, is I was actually a drug addict for about 10 years. So I was actually a drug addict for about 10 years. Um, I'm not gonna go into the detail um, because this is more about you, but just long story short, I was a drug addict in and out of rehab. And then one day I realized, listen, this is not the way life is supposed to be. I need to do something. And what I did was I went to church and pastor's preaching, he says, he says, if you hear, if you're gonna change your life, um, if, you're in a, if you're on the peace of God, you can make Jesus your Lord and Savior, put up your hand. And I put up my hand. And, and that's when things started happening in my life, right? And then, and now I'm educated in property and business. I went on workshops, I got myself a coach, I got myself educated in property and business. Um, a professional property investor. Now what that means is that the properties that I buy and I sell and the properties that I buy and I rent pays for my lifestyle, right? Can I see if that makes sense, guys? Hit the raise, hit the, um, does that make sense? Oh, Rachel Park, Boxburg, I see there. Okay, that's good. Yeah, God changed my life. Thank you, Adam, thank you. Kanye, see you. And now, as I said, um, I'm a professional property investor and that's what I do full time. So my life is around property, property business. I invest, I rent out, I buy and I sell. Business owner, I'm a property coach. And, and guys, I just want to be the best version of me. So I don't want to compete with anyone. I don't want to be better than anyone. I just want to live out my God-given potential. You guys with me? Now potential, potential is hidden ability but something that's inside of you that needs to come out of you, right? So that's just a little bit about me before we get into it. Oh, I got some pictures up here. Hey, let's see. Okay, pictures. So the top left picture is me at the South African Property Investors Network. I was the finalist for the big league um, last, was it last year? Last year, end of last year, quite cool. 
Um, that's me doing my presentation um, in front of investors, in front of the judges, which I'm quite proud of. Quite cool. Thank you, um, Sapin, South African Property Investors Network, for that. The people in the middle, that was actually, we were the two. So on the left, you have TJ. Now, I didn't win it. I was the runner up. I'm holding the trophy, but I didn't win the, he won it. I was the runner up, which, but anyway, um, I'm still excited for that. Now, the guy in the middle, that's Andrew Walker. Now, Andrew Walker is the CEO, the founder of, of the Property Academy and of South African Property Investors Network. Now, I'll tell you more about him. He's my coach, my mentor, amazing guy. The picture on the, on the right is actually me at, at Tough doing my TPPE there. You can see commercial um, property. That's they, they, they've, got a, they've got a course for their clients, which they send them on with the University of Cape Town. Quite cool. The one at the bottom is success and resources. That was actually just before the lockdown. We were speaking to close to a thousand people there with Andrew, um, teaching them about property. And the other picture there is me with the, on the SABC news. So sometimes I get called on news and radio to share some information. So that's quite cool guys. Thought I'd share some pictures before we get into the meat of it. Oh, this is one of my favorite speeches, me with Robert Kisaki in Pretoria. This was, this was 2016. So this was 2016, um, looking cool with the glasses there. Um, the, you can see I, I shared the stage with him. We traveled with him, Pretoria, Durban, which was quite cool at the time. Um, like 2,000 people, 3,000 people at all these events, which, which, which that's, that was quite nice. So guys, I just thought I'd tell you a little bit myself, share a bit of my story before we get into the deals and before we get into the information. All right. Is that okay? Let me just check the section. Yeah, okay, thank you. Maurice, there we go. Okay, now what are we gonna cover here today? We're gonna look at thinking like the wealthy, right? We look at mindset, because that's where it all starts. We're gonna look at mindset. So we're gonna look at thinking like the wealthy. Guys, who knows that wealthy people think differently to poor and middle class people? Now, can I get a comment there? Hey, who knows that wealthy people think differently to poor and middle class people. Yes, Paul, sure, Tumela. The speech is even different. They talk about different things. Eh? True, yeah. So wealthy people think differently to poor and middle class people. I'm mean, reminded of the story. Sai, how's it? Sai from Tuff is on there. I'm mean, reminded of the story. This one man, he went to one of the Arab nations. Now he went to do business on behalf of his company. And anyway, he's there for about two, three weeks. And the prince or the sheikh comes to me, says, he says, he says, Mr. Brown, Mr. John, whatever his name was. He says, sir, we'd like to give you a gift. The guy says, he says, you know what? I'm fine. You don't have to give me anything. I'm okay. The, the sheikh of the prince comes to him again. He says, he says, listen, Mr. Brown, Mr. John. He says, sir, we'd like to give you a gift. The guy says, he says, you know what? I don't need anything. I'm happy with the, with the business that we've done here. I just want to come back to South Africa. I miss my family. You don't have to give me anything. You guys still with me? All right? The Sheikh of the Prince comes to him again. He says, listen, Mr. Brown. He says, Mr. John. He says, we have to give you a gift. As in, if you don't accept this gift, you're going to offend us. All right? The guy says, okay. He says, give me a golf club. The guy says, golf club? He says, sure. Golf club. All right? Three weeks later, he's back in South Africa. Car pulls up, knocks on the door. He says, he says, excuse me, Mr. Brown, Mr. John. He says, sir, don't you want to get in your car and follow me? I want to take you to a golf club. Did you guys get it? All right, give, me a, give me a comment then. Did you get it or should I explain it? All right, let me see if you guys got it here. Someone? Got it, got it. Ah, okay, Bruce Lee. Bruce Lee got it. Okay, okay, but let me explain it. Everyone didn't get it. <laughs> right. Now, one man was talking about a nine iron or a driver or some kind of golf stick. The other man was talking about 18 holes, lakes and ponds, a clubhouse, Putting greens the works, a golf 
club. Get it now. Ha, ah, okay, all right, that's, now guys, you guys starting to see how rich people think different to poor and middle class people. So we're gonna look at thinking like the wealthy. We can look at finding and financing bargain property. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you a few deals, right? I'm gonna show you how I finance the deals. I'll show you a few of, of our students' deals as well. Then we look at using OPM, as I said, I'll show you how to use other people's money in this. And deal analysis, we're going to run into a deal. So we, I'm going to start off, who would like to learn how to buy property not using any money at all? Can I see? Guys, like to learn how to buy property. If you guys don't comment, I'm not going to show you. If you don't participate, I'm just going to, okay, all right, okay. All right, okay, Lloyd, nice, Ross. Okay, so what I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you how to not buy property not using any money at all. Who'd like to see, for the, for the more advanced guys, the development? Do you guys like to see development? Development, okay, that's good. Student accommodation, can I show you a student accommodation deal in Durban? All my, all my Durban people on here, who's from Durban? Okay, development, student accommodation. So I'll start with the smaller deals for the beginner guys. I'll show you a sheriff's auction deal as well. So I'm gonna start with the smaller deals for the beginner guys. I'm gonna work my way to the bigger deals for the more advanced guys. So stick around. And then what we're gonna look at, we're gonna look at the route to success and financial freedom and what your next steps will be. Okay, but before we go into that, let's first see, let's go into assets and liabilities. Let's play a little game here. Firstly, I want you to tell me whether it's an asset or liability. So I'm gonna call out a name here and you're gonna tell me whether it's an asset or liability. Okay, buy to let property, asset or liability. Okay, there we go. Right, buy to let, that's an, that's an asset, you're right. But if you paying in, it moves the other way, right? So buy to let property, the rent comes in, covers the bond, the expenses, and it pays you, then it's an asset. If you are paying in, it goes the other way. A lot of people own a lot of liabilities and they think they're owning assets. New car. Liability, well done, well done. A new car loses about 30 to 40% of its value as soon as you drive off the showroom floor. New cars are liability. They're nice though. All right, they're nice, but they're liabilities. Your spouse. Ah, let's see what's, let's, let's go into the comments here. Let's see what they are there. Your spouse. Okay, your sp <laughs> liabilities. <laughs> Especially now that you're spending so much time with them. Eh? You're actually getting to know them. Depends. Lesejo. Depends on what, eh? I like this joke, I read it on Facebook. They said, um, you know, with this lockdown, I'm actually, I'm actually speaking to my wife. She's, she's actually not, not such a bad person, eh? She's actually a quite cool person. So the lockdown is, is, is it's getting, okay, all right. Okay, guys, your spouse is supposed to be an asset. All right, your spouse is supposed to be an asset. Your spouse is supposed to encourage you. Your spouse is supposed to, to allow you to follow your dreams. Your spouse is supposed to make you a better person. All right, but if your spouse becomes a liability, like any good investment, you might need one of these. An exit strategy. Okay, okay, guys, that's a joke. It's a joke. I see no one's, no one's commenting. It's a joke. It's a bad joke. I get it. All right? It's a joke. Don't do that. That's a joke. Your spouse is a liability. Education, asset liability. Okay, education is a massive asset. Guys, I'm not talking about school or tertiary, I'm talking about financial education, things they don't teach you at school. Ignorance, asset liability. Okay, ignorance is a massive liability, right? My people perish for lack of knowledge. Well done, thank you for commenting there, guys. Keep it coming. Okay, who agrees with this statement? I'm 100% responsible for the creation of my own financial future and personal destiny. Can I see a raise of hands? Can I see an amen? Can I see a yes? I am 100% responsible for the creation of my own financial future and personal destiny. Yes, guys, you are 100% responsible for the creation of your own financial future and personal destiny. And what most people do is they put it on someone else. They put it on the government, on, on the parents, on the teacher. They, the, the boss doesn't like me. The company is not, right? They blame but you are 100% responsible for your, the creation of your own financial future and, um, and personal debt. Let's not put on anyone else. Okay, now why property? Why property, right? 
Let me give you a few pointers here. It's real and tangible. So you can touch it, you can feel it, you can hug it, you can kiss it, you can drive past it and, and take photos of it, right? It provides leverage. So property is one of the only assets that you can get leverage at 100% using other people's money. It's one of the only assets that you can leverage using other people's money. You can't do that with stocks, gold, silver. Um, it's unlimited wealth and security. So there is no income ceiling in property. Are you guys with me? There is no income ceiling in property. Because in, in some of your careers, in your jobs, whatever it is you do, there's an income ceiling. Are you guys with me? Um, you've got this job, you've got this career, someone in this job gets paid this much per annum. Now that doesn't happen in property, right? If, if you want more money, what do you do? You buy another property. If you want more money, what do you do? You buy another one. If you want more money, what do you do? You buy another one. And if you want more, what do you do? You buy another one. So you learn at once the skill and you do it over and over and over and over again, year in, year out. So there's no income ceiling in property. That's why guys can own, um, I think Siphon Tough is here. We were on that course and there were some of the guys that um, in that, that had like a thousand, two thousand units, inner city units. So there's no income ceiling on this. Uh, cash flows. So I believe property is the quickest way for you to become financially free. Yes, I, I, I believe property is the quickest way for you to become financially free. One, two, three deals can change your life forever. I'm going to say that again. One, two, three deals can change your life forever. Right? A few properties can replace your income. That's if you do it right. If you follow the steps, if you follow the system and you do it right, after a few properties, you can replace your income. It's accessible for everyone. Anyone can do it. You don't need a degree, you don't need a doctorate. I don't have a degree. I've got my trick. Right? So anyone can do it. You can build a legacy, leave it for your children, and it's tax efficient. All right, let me see in the comments here. Yes, the right to mail is not a get rich quick scheme. You need the right systems. Um, you need the right education. Yes, thank you, Paul. Thank you, Anthony. The right knowledge, and that's what we're going to give you today, and we're going to give you true. Okay, thanks, Rami. We need good coaches. Yes, you need good coaches. Okay, guys, thank you for your comments. Now, who'd like to see the perfect plot? I'm going to show you a back-to-back -back deal here. Now, back-to-back -back deal is a perfect flip. Now, I think why most of you came in here, you saw that it says how to, how Leroy um, bought the wrong properties twice to a developer, right? So I think before I go you and take you into how I started doing it right, let me, let me first tell you how not to do it. Would like to learn how not to do it, right? So I started out, I think I was what, 27, 28, around that time. And I heard that people are making money from sheriff's auctions. So I went to the sheriff's auction, looked for it a while, went to the sheriff's auction, went there a few weeks, thought, okay, um, I'm gonna get into this property thing. And, and people were buying properties at the auction that time, some for in townships for 10,000, 100,000, 80,000, um, 200,000. And I was like, oh, what's happening here? And anyway, no education, no knowledge, no research, um, nothing. I decided, listen, let me see if I can get some money together um, and go to the auction. So I went a couple of months later and I bought the first property. Successful bidder number 129, Leo Slava. And successful bidder, I bought the property. After the auction, I went to the, to the property and I realized I bought the wrong property. Okay, now I don't know, I don't know um, if anyone on here has ever bought the wrong property. Give me, uh, has anyone here bought the wrong property before? Bootleg? No? No one? 
Okay, I did. <laughs> well done. That's the first person I've ever, I feel a bit better now. I thought I, thought I was buying a two bedroom house on this side of the road and I bought a three bedroom house on the other side of the road. Now, I didn't know that at the auctions, they don't always give you the correct addresses. Define the wrong property. I, I thought I was buying 105 and I bought 107. Um, Sasha. So I thought I was buying a three bedroom house on this side of the street and I bought a two bedroom house on the other side of the street. So guys, if you share us auctions, be careful. And, and anyway, made the mistake, sold the property. And then a year later, I thought, listen, I've learned my lesson. Let me go back again and go try this again. Went back and I thought I was buying a townhouse, ground floor townhouse, 105. What I didn't realize is that they changed the numbers in the complex and the sheriff still has the old numbers, right? And you know, at the auctions, they, they give you everything in good faith. So I thought I was buying a ground unit, 105, and I, was, I bought the unit on top of it, 205. And that's how I bought the wrong property twice. So, okay, I'm a bit embarrassed by this, but I'm glad to see in the comments that I see there's about two, three people that, that bought the wrong property, right? And that's, and that's trying, to, trying to do it by myself, without the education, without the help. But anyway, and then I came through, got educated. I got myself a coach, Andrew Walker. Um, I started following a system. And, and then with my coach, this is one of the next deals that I did. So this is one of the first deals. So this is a back-to-back -back deal. Now this is in, in um, Brackpan. Anybody from Brackpan here? So what happened here is um, my coach showed me how to source these properties. And anyway, this lady calls me. She says, Leroy, I hear you buy houses. I said, yes, ma'am, I buy houses. She says, listen, I would like to sell my house. I said, okay, now tell me. How much do you want for the house? She says, come see me. I said, okay. I go see, I do my research. I said, give me the address. I do my research. I see that the market value of the property is 600,000. If you guys look on this, right? Market value is 600,000. I go see her. I negotiate the price down to 350. All right? Now she was a motivated seller. She just wanted to get out of, out of that property ASAP. So I was, I, I was helping her. So I negotiate the price down to 350. What do we do is we sign an OTP, an offer to purchase. All of you guys, everyone should know what an offer to purchase is. So we sign an offer to purchase. We were buying this house for 350. All right? Everyone still following? I take that offer to purchase. I take it to my attorney, who's one of my power team. I take it to my attorney. I sell this property immediately. I market it. I sell it immediately on Facebook a couple of weeks later to two brothers. I sell it to them for 520. But the market value is 600,000. Why am I selling it for 520? Because I'm let it go quickly. And the, the, with this property at the time, I think I was busy with about two or three deals when I was doing this one. So I didn't have the 350. So I told Andrew, my coach, I said, listen, I'm Andrew. I don't have the 350. He says, listen, go sign it. We'll find the money. I was like, we'll find the money. He says, yeah, we'll find the money. We'll find the money in the network. Anyway, um, so I signed it a couple of weeks later for 520. So what happened with this deal was that the buyers, the two brothers, 520, paid my 350. Right. I'm going to say that again. The 520 paid my 350. The attorneys took their 8,000, right? 170,000 came out. The attorneys took their 8,000 and they paid 162,000 to my bank account. Now let me see in the comments, guys. Does that, does that make sense? Do you get it? Yes, yes, Virgil. Okay, good, good. Bruce Lee. Nice gift. Get uh, okay. All right. Now, who likes this? Give me a. Give me a. I like this. So I love this. Who likes it and who loves it? 
Who would like to do this? Love it, love it. Oh, well done, yes. So did I use any of my own money in this deal? Rebecca, did I use any of my own money? Martini? No. So what happened? The buyer paid the seller. The attorneys took their money from the profits and they paid and they paid the honesty 2000 into my bank account. So I didn't use a cent of my own money in this deal. And when I learned this, when Andrew and the team at the property academy taught me this, I said, woo-wee, shouldn't have shown me this. And then I went out and I did a lot of them. <laughs> and I did a lot of them. Um, and that's when I realized that, listen, you don't actually need any money to make money in property. So what you, you just need a bit of, a bit of, a bit of information and a bit of direction and someone to push you in the right direction. So why I'm showing you this one is I want to show you where I started after, after the education and after spending time with a coach, which, which, um, which Virgil said there. So guys, so these are some of the things. Now, obviously there's a bit more to this, right? Cause if, if I didn't find a buyer immediately, I was going to have to pay the 350. And there's a few clauses that needs to go in the OTP. Um, so there is a bit more to this, right? Not much, but a bit more we can show you. Okay, so you guys like that. Let's move on. Okay, and the thing with this is, let me just go back to that slide, is you need to move quickly with this. You need to have your agents, your attorney, your, 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 and your builder, your, to paint quickly if you need to do a small refurb, right? Now, with, with a lot of the properties that I do the back-to-back -back with, I try not to do anything with it. That's why I sell it below market value. I try not to do much to it or just paint it a few touch-ups or let it go quickly. But you need a team around you. That's what I'm saying, because you need to move quickly with this, right? Because that lady wanted a 350. And you need a good power team because a lot of attorneys don't understand how to do this. So you need the right attorney as well, which, which the property academy helps you with. Okay, let's look at a power team. As I said, you need a power team. Now, to be a good, successful investor, you don't have to be an expert in every area. You just need to know an expert in every area. I'll say that again. All right, to be a successful investor, you don't, have to be, you don't have to be an expert in every area. You just need to know an expert in every area. So let's see who you need in your power team. So take a picture of this, write it down. So you need a property coach, you need education. Very important, guys. Um, I like what Andrew says. What does Andrew say? He says, knowledge. Um, type it in the comment section there, Andrew. I see you on the call. Um, What does he say? Knowledge without action doesn't work, but action without knowledge is deadly. Dave, type it in for them, that comment there. Yeah. Okay, so you need a coach, guys. You need the right information. You need the right support, right? Someone to guide your hands to the first few deals. You need an estate agent. Now, an estate agent you can only find once you've analyzed your area. Once you know which area you want to focus on, um, and you're going to have to move to a few estate agents to get to the right estate agents. You need a letting agent. A letting agent for your properties, because you, you don't want another job. What you want to do is you want to get the deals, give it to a letting agent, focus on the letting agent, um, check the letting agent, and move to the next deal. Sourcing agent, you need to get someone who will source you these deals continually. And in the South African Properties Network, that, they've got that, right? Someone who can source you these deals continuously. Bond originator, someone who, who can finance you money, who can, who can go to different places um, and get money from you from, from banks. But what I like is that not just a bond originator that goes to the four banks or five banks, you need someone who can go to more banks for you. And there's about close to 52 banks in South Africa. And they finance different things like let's say tough finances, inner city, inner city buildings, and 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 now they finance uh, township rooms. So so you need a bond originator. What you also need is you need a builder. Right? And and this I think for me personally the the the, the estate agent and the builders is two of the, the the trickiest ones to get here because you need to get go through a few to get the right one. Accountant, a property accountant. So not just, not just any accountant, you need a property. 
potentially an accountant that also invests in property, not just any accountant, someone who invests, someone who understands tax, right? Because with property, you get a lot of tax incentives. Insurance broker, you insurance broker to insure your rental income, insure your properties, and you need an attorney. Also a property attorney, not a divorce attorney, not a, not a, you need the right attorney, right? Not your cousin who just finished, get a, Get an attorney that understands property, that understands agreements, that understands um, what they're doing. So take a picture of that, write it down. But luckily for you guys, with the Property Academy, there's a team in place, right? A power team which they can connect you with, which has been vetted, which works well. Very important. Okay. Now, let me just take you through, let me just tell you more about, about Andrew Walker, my coach, my mentor. Um, this man has really changed my life. And he's the CEO and the founder of the Property Academy, right? He's a local and international investor. He owns quite a lot of properties in the UK, he invests internationally and locally. He has businesses in the UK. He's got property management agencies, letting agencies. He's an international speaker. He's a coach. Property through and through. That's all he does is property. And he's passionate about people. And I've actually never met a person that actually loves people as much as Andrew. Um, let me just, okay. Let me just check in the, so Andrew's the CEO and the founder of the Property Academy and, and, and why he put this together is because he said he found his purpose in life and his purpose is to help people spread the, the, the good news of property and to, and to help people. And so he said, listen, let me put together the, the, the South African Property Investors Network, which is a networking for investors, the biggest one in the country, and he put together a property academy, which, which gives the education, right? So, and, 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 and Andrew started coaching me, I think six, seven years ago, eight years ago, plus minus. And, and I went from buying the wrong properties to not using any of my own money at all, to multi leads to flips, to eventually into developments and and then that's why that's why um that's why i respect him so much because he's really he's really taken me from 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 not knowing anything or not doing anything to 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 doing developments now which is which is which is a lot of growth so if he focuses on buy to let rent to rent as i said property through and through he's a pro property development property speculation, renovations, flipping, investment clubs, venture capital, property stocks. He's been an estate agent, he's been in conveyancing, a letting agency manager, he's done it all, right? And this is, this is someone that you really wanna learn from, right? Someone who's, 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 who's gone through it, who's made the mistakes, who's, who's, who's done well as well, not just made mistakes, right? Um, and what Andrew's done is, Andrew's put together, okay, Okay, yes, some more. And he's coached over a hundred people. Huh? So what Andrew's done is Andrew's put together a twelve-week course, twelve-week fundamental course. Guys, is it a, is it okay to buy success? Huh? Come in, is it okay to buy success? Who who wants to learn from someone who's already doing what you want to do successfully? Right? You, yes. Guys, you want to learn from someone who's, who's already doing what you want to do successfully. You can read books and, 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 and but, but you need some, you need someone who's, 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 who's made the mistakes, who's, who's, who's on the ground, who's, who's, who's looked at properties, who's put in offers, who deals with, with builders, who's, who deals with, with, with attorneys continuously to, to coach you. Right? Because it's okay to buy success. Would you like to, to make all the mistakes yourself? Yeah, Virgil says he sees an investment. And who's the most important person in your business? Okay, thanks guys. So what Andrew's done is he's put together a 12-week fundamental online course. Will you guys be okay if I take you through it just for a minute or two? Okay? Okay. So the 12-week fundamental course at how to generate a cash, cash flowing property portfolio. And I think this is the perfect time for this now because we're on lockdown. We've got time on our hands. Um, so I think this is the best time to invest in yourself because when we come out of lockdown, you want to be already locked and loaded, right? To get out there and make this happen. 
So what it is going to cover, it's a 12 weeks, right? Practical content, tools, spreadsheets, um, whew, what's on there? Checklists, legal docs, templates for legal docs, spreadsheets, how to calculate cash flow, flips, um, builders, a checklist to, 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 for your builders. So this is a powerful course. And I'm actually also working through this again, right? But that's how powerful it is. So would it be, guys, would it be okay if I take you, if we take you through the back end, just show you, show you how it works, what's it about, um, there's a video on it, all right? Would that be okay, guys? Give me a comment. Yes, 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 go ahead. Okay, all right, Linda. Let me take, let me, let me take you through the, the video. Okay, okay, I'm gonna start it now. It's about, about three to five minutes. It's actually quite cool. Check it out. Hey, it's Andrew Walker here, the property coach. And I just wanted to share with you what the insights and what does the back end of the property coach really look like. Now, what's going to happen is when you do move forwards, we will send you your username and password. In the top right hand corner, it will say login. So you'll log in and you will then see these uh, buttons at the top where you'll click on my library. Now, when you click on my library, what you'll see is the fundamental course that's got the 12 weeks worth of content. There's a community section, the extra content section and the accelerator. Let's just focus on the main part here, which is the fundamental course. So when you click on it, what you're gonna see in the top right-hand corner over here where it says 11 or 46 lessons completed. The great thing with this is that as you go through the next few months, you'll see how many lessons have you actually completed. You can see here these blue tick boxes are an indication that these are the specific videos uh, that you have completed. Now, the introduction is about the course, meet myself, the outline of the objectives, you know, get you started, getting to know you. And of course, week one is around the seven step process mindset where we start giving you homework and discussions to do. Then we start getting into goal setting. And week three is where the property content really kicks in, where you've got to start understanding the different uh, cash strategies that are out there, understanding renovations. So for example, I mean, here you can see the little blue tab. That's an indication as to I haven't completed it, but I have started watching it. Let's say um, I really wanted to understand more about renovations. I'll come up and here you can see there's the play button. So I will then click play. Let's just watch a few seconds of this video. And as you can see, that's one of the videos where I've interviewed Marisha at an actual property where we take the cam camera and we walk around. So some of the videos will be myself and you. I'll be talking to you. Some of the videos could be the attorney, the student accommodation expert, depending who it is. Um, but you can actually see on the right-hand side is your builder's homework. So as you go through the different uh, weeks, we will be giving you various downloads, and I'll share some, some more of those with you. And sometimes, you know, it's understanding how to find the right team. So um, as we go through each week, depending on the subject, will depend on how much knowledge we actually give you in video and in text. As you can see here, there's a lot to do uh, when it comes to working with builders. And when you've completed that, you can then mark that as complete, and you can start seeing all the other comments from all the other uh, delegates and answers from either myself or Dave. So I'm going to come back here. I'm going to just go back a step. So coming back to week five, area research, finding deals. How do we find the deals? Analyzing the deals. This is where we start getting into um, running the numbers, working out return on investment, the structure and tax, what, what entity should you be using, and funding deals. So for example, how do we fund these deals? And this is where, yes, you'll log in, and as you can either watch it, um, and you can see on the right-hand side here, where we, we show you examples of investment proposal documents, JV agreements, loan agreements, funding your first deal, certain website addresses to give you an insight as to you know, all other um, avenues of raising finance, to basic stuff like what is the NCA explaining it to you. Um, there's just a whole bunch of value add and content. And again, once you've completed it, you mark it as complete, and then you go to the next lesson again. You can see everyone else's comments. So let's just go back to that main page, and then you'll see that's week nine, and then you get to week 10. 
the buying process, understanding it, how to work with offer to purchase. You can see that's when interview with Buddha Samal took place and building a team and then making this a business. Now, just coming back to my library, and again, you can go to the community and you can start seeing what other questions in general were other students asking. Meet the other investors. There is an FAQ section. So this is where, you, if you wanted to, you could start seeing what other students were asking. It's a great opportunity for you to start learning and networking with the other students. And that to me, ladies and gents, is very, very powerful. So as you can see, you've just got to get your username and password. You're going to come to my courses. You're going to click on the fundamental course and you're going to start your property journey. Or even if you already have a few properties, I'm going to be showing you um, how to build a bigger profitable property portfolio. So ladies and gents, um, I hope that you do take action and don't forget that I will be seeing you on the webinars because other than the support we give you, there will be live webinars where myself and Dave will jump onto the course, um, onto the call and we can start talking about any challenges you have, any property deals and any other questions you have. So I hope to see you on the course. Hey, it's Andrew. Okay. Okay, guys. So how cool is that? Hey, that you can learn about property in your own house while you're on lockdown, learn the strategies, learn how to do the numbers, get all the spreadsheets, get all the information. Andrew will connect you to his power team on there. Eh? Powerful, powerful. So guys, obviously there is, there is an investment for this, so you're gonna have to pay for it. All right, is that okay guys? So you're gonna have to pay for it. Let me tell you, so the investment amount for it is 4997. Right, so some of you are saying, Wow, so cheap! Yes, so cheap. It's 4997. And what do you get for that? You get access to the 12 week, you get one year's access. You can go back whenever you want to check it. You get continuous support, you get a monthly live webinar with Andrew and Dave and myself, which the next one is on the 6th of May. All right, write that down. 6th of May is the next live webinar. You get the resource center. Now, this for me is powerful how to get the legal the templates for the legal docs, the spreadsheets, the, the builder's information, and connect with the party. Um, so, and you're part of the support team. Eh? You guys like that? Oh, I can see you guys love that. All right? Okay. Now, it's 4997. You guys are already saying that's cheap. Right? It is cheap. But what we're also going to do for the first few people, because we reward people that take action. Right? For the first few people that want to do this, we're also going to include a flipping course for free. You're saying for free? Yes. So we're going to include the course for free, right? It's also worth 4997, but you get it today for free. But this is only for the first few people that take action, that enroll, that commit to it. So only 10 people are going to get this because we can't give it to everyone. All right? And there's about 200 of you on here. Okay, 200 of you on here. So you get 10,000, cl close to 10,000 worth of content, 22 weeks of content, you get legal documents, you get connected to a power team, you, you show you how to do those deals, back-to-back -back deals, how, to, how do you negotiate, how to raise capital, eh? how to get to the properties, all that in your own home while you're in lockdown. Is that not an amazing deal? Amazing, I can, oh yes, powerful, it's gold. Yes, let's say, oh, that's gold. Sure, I'm all nice, sure. Now guys, what am I gonna do? As, as I said, Dave's gonna put a link in the comments. As I said, we, the, the bonus cannot go to everyone. Unfortunately, we cannot do it for everyone. So what we are gonna do is, it's 4997 for the 12 week course, then you get a 10 week flipping course, right? But that one, the bonus is for 10 people only. So the link is there, the first few people, click on the link and roll, go to have a look at it and Powerful, powerful. So when you, exceptional investment, yes, Carlo. So when you get out of lockdown, you're ready and loaded. You've gone through it and, and you become aggressive and you work towards financial freedom. Okay, so Dave has put it in the comments section, the links, go click on the links um, to get the special offer. I'm gonna carry on here. You guys can go on the links. Okay, now, where do you start in property? Some of you are saying, Listen, Lee, we're gonna get into the stretch prop, I'm gonna get into buy to lets, commercial developments. Now, if you look at this triangle, you see that if you haven't bought any properties, I would advise you to start with education, work through it, and then start with the buy to lets, get into flipping, do those back to back deals. 
then get into student accommodation, um, commercial and development. Once you've, once you've got your foundation in place, you've got a one to buy to let you have your power team, you have the experience, you know how to run the numbers, and then you move towards the student accommodation, the commercial, the development. Because what we find is we find a lot of people come into property, say, listen, um, Leo or Andrew, um, I want to I do a development. I want to get into, I want to build a mall. And you say, listen, what have you done? I said, no, I haven't bought a property. Like, Dude, no, don't start there. First, get the education, get, to get some coaching, understand, run the numbers, get, understand your area, get a power team, and, and, and then move towards the bigger, the student accommodation. Because as you go up the triangle, you get the returns are better, but the risk is also higher. All right? So get your foundation right. And what you want to get in, we call it um, SAP, Strategy Area Property. And that's what Andrew's going to cover on the, on the, 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 the 12 week course is how to identify your strategy. What do I want to get in? Do I want to get into buy to lets, flipping, to an accommodation? Where do I, what do I want to do? Now you've decided, okay, buy to lets student accommodation or flips. Now you go look for an area where that works. Because student accommodation won't work everywhere. It's, 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 it's area specific. So once you identify your strategy, which, which the 12 week course will help you in, and then you go look for, then you analyze the area. Once you've analyzed the area, then you go buy the property in that area. Does that make sense? So it's strategy area property. Now what a lot of amateurs do is, I started that way. I want to do it myself. I go for the property. I don't know my strategy. I don't know the area and I just go on and buy a property. Right? So rule number one, write this down. In property, you make your money when you buy. Not when you sell. A lot of people think they make their money when they sell. No, you make your money when you buy. Right? Property we buy with our, uh, with our calculators. Not with our hearts. Right? In property, you make your money when you buy. And that comes with understanding how to run the numbers, how to analyze a property, how to, um, how to see that it's going to cash flow, that you're going to make profit from it. Right? The fundamental calculations. Now, I'm not going to go to this in detail. I'm, I'm behind time already, but is that okay? Are you guys learning something? Right? So I'm not going to go into the details. This gets covered in detail on the 12-week course and the spreadsheet. So as I said, Dave has put the link there. Go click on it. Get yourself on it. Cash flow calculations, how to see how much it's going to cash flow, gross yield, the yields in an area, return on investment, how hard your money is working for you, buying and selling, the flip calculations, see how much profit you're going to make out of it. So we go into details and the spreadsheets about this. So I'm not going to cover this. It's going to take too much time. All right. So the time is now. The time is now. All right. Okay. I like the statement here. Yeah. It says, Warren Buffett says, he says, never depend on a single income. He says, make investments to create a second source. So guys, um, if you're sitting here on this webinar today and there's about 200 of you. So if you are on this webinar today and you have one source of income, you're in a very dangerous place. And as we can see with the lockdown, with the COVID, that a lot of people have some of, the, some of the salaries has been cut by 50%. Some people are not getting salaries. Some people have lost their jobs. Some people have lost their businesses. And if that is the case and you are on here and you have one source of income, I think you should seriously now, I don't even think you start thinking of creating another source. At least start with one. Right? And I think property is a good one because Property's been around forever, it's gone through the dips, it's, and it's going to be around forever. Oh, everyone's always going to need a place to live. Now, if you buy in the right area, even after COVID, if, you, if you've analyzed your area, you've run your numbers, you've, you've, you've looked at it, um, you always have tenants, right? And you always have people buying property, especially under a million. Those properties go quickly. And I believe they will, they, obviously, there'll be a bit of challenges, but if you've done your homework, you'll make money. Okay, now what about the markets? I'm gonna move through. Now what's happening now with COVID and the lockdown in property basically, is that after this, unfortunately, there, there will be people that, that obviously, look, we, we, don't, we don't know when it's gonna end, hopefully sooner than later. And, 
And what's, what is going to happen is that, unfortunately, there are going to be people coming out of this that need to either sell quickly because of challenges that, that have been faced through this time, lost their business, lost their job, income has been cut. And so they will, some of them will be selling quickly. There'll be less people buying property, um, which means property prices will come down as well. All right. So there'll be discounts after this. Unfortunately, that's, that's, that's what I believe will happen. But with this whole crisis and with this comes a massive opportunity, right? Massive opportunity. What does this mean for the trained investor? As I said, this means opportunity in South Africa. That if you get in now and you learn how to do it the right way, and, and you learn the strategies, you learn how to raise finance, you can make a lot of money out of property um, in the next few months. Because property prices are going to be down. There are going to be a lot of discounts, are there, which you can look at. Right? So it's a massive opportunity. Um, Warren Buffett says as well, he says, he says when, when people are fearful, you become greedy. And what's, what's out there right now? A lot of fear. Right? A lot of people are fearful. So when people are fearful, then you become greedy. So prices are gonna come down with the right education. And if you learn how to source money, use other people's money, you get a proper, um, you get a system, you learn how to analyze an area, you can come in and really take advantage of this opportunity right now. Okay, now what about your dreams, guys? What are, what are your goals? Cause, cause, cause we've still got, we are in the lockdown, we are in a bit of a crisis, but, but this is a good time for you to sit plan, think about what you're going to do for the rest of the year when you come out of this. Think how you're going to um, increase your income. What are your dreams? Where do you want to go? Because the world is not going to end right now. Right? It's going to change. It has changed and it'll probably still change some more. So you need to sit down in this lockdown time, educate, think about your goals, think about your dreams, start planning out. What am I going to do? How am I going to invest in property? Let me, let me get on, on, on this course. Let me get the information. Right? Because a lot of people do it for money, but, but guys, I like what Andrew says. He says, um, what property does is property gives you options, right? And, and, and what, what financial freedom does is gives you options. So think about why you need to do this and what this will mean um, for you and your family. Put in the comments there, okay? Why do you have to do it? Let me show you quickly why, I knew, why I'm doing it. Just a little bit myself before we get into some more deals. That's my wife, Montez, and my little girl there. And she's busy. She's, she's just knocking on this door. She wants to come in this room right now. Hey, she's a year and six months. Year and six months. And these are the reasons why I do it. Um, I don't know. Why do you have to do it? What, what, what would a few properties mean to you? Hey? Would you do it for your family? Who would do it for their family? For, for, for charity? Some people for the church to fund the gospel. So cute. Thank you. I know I'm cute. I'm joking, Maurice. I guess you're not talking about me there. Eh? For your family, yes. Imagine having a few properties, having an extra income. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine properties. What that will mean for your family. Could that mean your child goes to better schools? Could that mean that your wife stops working? What, is it, what, what would that mean to you? Think about it. Secure legacy. Leave a legacy. Yes. Okay, retirement, yes, guys, because it seems pensions are basically gone. Almost. Okay, let me carry on. Let's move on from this year. Yeah, do it for your family. Okay, maybe let's get into some more deals. I'm gonna speed it up a bit. So this, uh, this deal was one of the deals after making the mistakes. I went back to the auction and then I learned how to do it properly. So I'm gonna take you through the numbers here. So in this property, I bought it for 176,000. Now, uh, some of you can do that, right? What to find out since 76,000? Share commission about 8,000. Outstanding rates at the auctions, you liable for the outstanding rates. Fees 7,200. The refurbishment costs 6,000. So I was all in for 216,000. I sold it for 400,000. The profit on it was 184,000. I actually sold this to a friend of mine. I hope he's not on this way right now. Um, and I sold it to 184,000. So I made. I know 84,000 from this property. Huh? 
Now, some of you might want to get into the back to back. Some of you might need to get into the auctions. Let me show you another deal. This is a student accommodation deal in Durban. Anyone from Durban here? Yeah? Westville? Anyone from Durban? Durban, put your hands up. Yes, Westville, yes, okay, Randir, I see you. All right, now this is one of our students, Bevan. Now what Bevan did was, Bevan, this was a repossessed property. Bevan negotiated with the banks. The outstanding utilities on it was about 753,000. So what Bevan did, he negotiated to buy this property, right? And the bank settled the utilities. They just wanted to get rid of it. So spent him about the, he um, did a refurbishment for 500,000. Once the property was, was refurbished, he went back to the bank and he refinanced. He got a bond on it for 1.5 million. But anyway, as I said, we're gonna cover a lot on this on the, on the, on the 12th week. So he got 1.5 million, pulled it out. His monthly income on this property is 74,300. Now with student accommodation, got a lot of expenses, Wi-Fi, cleaning, right? The expenses are high, 44,000. But his cash flow on this property is 29,769. 30,000. Now, is that a cha-ching? Is that a cha-ching, guys? What would 30, uh, extra 30,000 mean to you right now? Can I get a cha-ching there? Yeah, cha-ching, grand, yes. Right? Now imagine doing one or two of these. John, Gwen, cha-ching, yes. Money down, some poor. There we go. Right now, imagine what one or two getting the education and then you start. Maybe you might not start with the student accommodation, maybe start with the back to back one that I showed you at the beginning, and then from there move on to these ones. Mm -hmm. right. So, this is, where, this is what some of you can do. Now, who can tell me what the 40 40 plan is? This is where you work for 40 hours a week right, to retire in 40 for This is where you work for 40 hours a week for 40 years of your life to retire on 40% of your income. And I think that 40% of your income is actually going down. This is the old plan. Right? Now guys, if you, have, if you have not put a plan together, then this is your plan. And this plan doesn't work anymore. Right? I'm just gonna read this quickly before we can get into the last few deals. It says on the screen here, it says that the 1% of people have to carry on working after the age of 65. It says that the 1% of people have to carry on working after the age of 65. Three in 10 people don't have the option to retire. And this, was, and this is Sunlum's benchmark um, survey. This is before COVID-19. So this, this is obviously, these, these figures are obviously have changed massively. The second one says 60% of South African pensioners do not have enough to live on. 60% of South African pensioners do not have enough to live on. Six in 10 suffer and become dependent. 94% of South Africans cannot maintain a decent standard of living during retirement. That's huge. 94% of South Africans cannot maintain a decent standard of living during retirement. Less than one in 10 people retire happy. That's a scary stat there. That's scary, that's shocking. Let's move on. 58% of people expect to continue to work due to financial necessity rather than choice. Almost two in three people cannot afford to retire. 75% of people spend their retirement fund take home paying off debt. Three in four people spend their retirement paying back debt. So they don't even enjoy that money, they just pay back the debt. Almost 90% spend more money than they earn. One in 10 have enough. This is Sunlam's benchmark retirement survey. See if you can locate yourself somewhere there. If you can locate yourself somewhere in there and you see that's going to be a challenge then you just start thinking of, of how you can start investing, have a few assets that when you retire, you can live off your, off your assets. Jobs bloodbath after this. Now guys, I don't want to give you doom and gloom. I just want to be honest with you and be upfront with you and give you the, the truth. Is that okay? Jobs bloodbath, agriculture, mining, manufacturing, utilities, construction, wholesale and retail, transport, financial services, tourism, it goes on and on and on. And unfortunately that, um, sad but 
you know, what can you do? But what that also means is it means opportunity. So the three keys to success, and I want you guys to write this down, is opportunity, right? And write this down as well. No problems, no profit. No problems, no profit. And I believe when we come out of, out of the lockdown, this COVID-19, there's gonna be a lot of problems, but there's gonna be massive opportunity as well, right? So the opportunity is there, but then you need the knowledge. And once you have the knowledge, you need to take massive action. Okay, I'm gonna take you through the last few deals. Now this is a multi -lit. This is one of my properties in Boxburg. Now in this, purchase it for six, this lady passed away, so it was the latest date. I purchased it for 600,000, refurb and fees 40,000, the produce worth 750. I'm renting out for 15,500. The bond limit is 5,800, other costs, 3,550. After expenses, I'm making 6,150 from this one property. And I see in the comments, would who would do this deal? Who'd like, would, would, would 6,000 make a difference in your life now? An extra 6,000, anyone? You, Keanu? Eh? Now imagine a few of these. Now imagine you do one of these and you do one of those back-to-back -back deals. I like it, yes, a lot, absolutely. Okay, great deal. Imagine start. Imagine learning this and starting to do, do a few of these. Now, now it's not a get rich screen. Let's say you do one or two, three a year, depending on how fast you want to move. It all depends on you. Some people do. I know TJ, some of you might know him. He came through and he did like 50 big deals in two years. And he just went all out. Tax implications. Um, that obviously there'll be some tax implications depending on the structure you buy it in. Andrew will go through that on the, on the 12 week. Um, potato. Okay, you guys like that? Okay, now this is one I've just finished now. This is a deal um, from Tough. Thanks, Paul. Thanks, Sai. I see you on the, you're on the webinar here. Now, this is in Boxburg. So what I did here, I converted this building from about nine units and retail to 31 units. So let me take you through the pictures here quickly. So this is before what it looked like. This is in, in the center of Boxburg. That's me getting the keys there. Very happy, slightly nervous. Okay. Let's see here. Okay, this is during. So there we're starting to convert it. Now it's starting to look nice. These are the two colors. You can see the bottom colors, the expensive ones, the top ones are the cheaper colors. That's me there during the converge. Take you through these ones. So this is a building that now it's, it's almost finished. You can see there, we're almost complete here. That's the parking. Um, carports are coming up there. That's what the building looks nice. It looks like now. 31 units, two bedroom, one bedroom units, bachelors. I made it colorful. I made it colorful. I, want the, I wanted this building to stand out in Boxburg. Yeah. There, you can see on the left, we had a show day with the managing agent there. Some of the pictures, what it looks like now. That's the building. I called it at 14th because it's 14th floor at the record in Boxburg. We called it all at 14th. How cool is that? Does that look cool, guys? Now, some of you that are already, are already um, investing probably have a few properties. Some of you might want to go there. Some of you that are starting might want to start with the properties we did and show in the beginning. Very cool, super. Okay, well, well, thank you, thank you, Carlo. Let me take you through the numbers. I'm gonna take you through the high level numbers here. So the structure I bought in the PTY, it's a buy to let. I'm renting out all 31 units. I'm not selling anything off here. Um, it was a loan from Tough. Thank you, Tough. 15 years. Um, 31 residential units, purchase price 2.9 million, the refurbishment was 5.6 million. Um, that's with professional fees. So the total income is 147,000. Bond on it, 82,000. Monthly expenses, 24,000. The equity I had to put in is as 1.3 million. Tough has an into Tuku fund, which helps with equity, 1.8 million. The cash flow, the profit on this deal is 40,000. Right? So as I said, some of you might not start here, but with the, with the right knowledge and the right education and experience, this is where you want to go. 
So it doesn't take your money to make money. It just takes someone else's money. And on the 12th week, Andrew's going to cover a lot of ways how you can raise money, how you can use other people's money, um, institutional money, private money, um, crazy money, right? Creative strategies that you can start using other people's money on here. Now, some of you might want to start with the top properties here. 80,000, flip one or two properties, 120,000, 210,000. Who'd like to start there? First start getting, getting some, some capital in, doing a few back-to-backs, okay. making 80,000 from, from a deal, making 120,000. Can I see comment there? 200,000. Start there. Mohammed, you would, yes. Why not build up, flip one, two properties, maybe get one buy to let cash flow properties. Flip one, two, three properties. Hey, would, that, would that help some of you this year? Making an extra 80,000, an extra 200,000, an extra um, 120,000. Would that help you? Definitely. Hugely. And then from there, what you maybe do, that's what you do. Maybe that you do a, a cash flow property that gives you 5,000 a month, 10,000. Obviously, that's not a little block of flats. 20,000. Yeah. I'm sure, let's say you make one, two, you make a couple of 100,000 the first year, second year, you start focusing on cash flow to replace your salary, right? As I said, we're all in different places here in our lives. We're all gonna start at a different place, but that's why we're here to help you with this. Okay, so the problem with most people is they think they don't have the money. That's, that's most people's problem is, is they think they don't have the money. But what's the solution in this? If you don't have the money, what's the solution? Come on, let me see in the comments. Eh? If you don't have the money, what's the solution? Find the money, OPM, rob a bank. No, that's 15 to life there, Carabo. Jail is not nice. Borrow, approach, kidding. Okay. Right? Right, guys, if you don't have the money, get the knowledge. Because once you have the knowledge, you can start raising the money can't get the money if you don't understand how it works. So first get the knowledge. You guys with me? Educate, Virgil, well done. Get the knowledge, get the knowledge. Okay, who agrees with this statement now? I'm 100% responsible for the creation of my own financial future and personal destiny. All right? Okay, write this down. My secrets to success, guys. I'm gonna give you a few secrets to success which I believe is important. And then we've, we've, we, we, we're almost at the end of the, of the webinar. My secret to success, set your goals. If you don't know where you're going, how are you gonna know when you get there? All right. Continue to learn and grow. If you're not busy learning and growing continually, you are busy dying. It doesn't matter what age you are. Continue to learn and continue to grow. Prioritize your time, put the TV off. Spend time with people who are doing what you want to do successfully and follow them. Destroy negative beliefs that, that says, I can't do this. Ooh. Right? Destroy those negative beliefs and ignore the red lights. Someone will always tell you why something won't work. Who knows someone like that? Eh? Red lights. Who, who knows someone like that? Who always tells you why something won't work? And these aren't always strangers. Eh? These are cousins and aunties and mothers and fathers and husbands and wives. Eh? Okay. And the number one influencing factor in failure is procrastination. I'll do it tomorrow. I'll do it next week. I'll, I'll wait for a New Year's resolution. Eh? I'll, 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 I'll save up till I, and then when you save up, you have to buy a tie or something. Right? Most people have, some of you have been putting it off so long, you should have, you should have owned 10, 20 properties now. Yeah? You've been, some of you have been putting it off so long, you, you should have been a millionaire by now. But you're procrastinating. Right? Guys, your dreams are calling you, what's it gonna be, decline or accept? And the rest of your life, I like these two slides. I actually got these two slides from Facebook and it made me think, what's the rest of your life gonna be like? It's gonna be average or memorable? Most people, it's gonna be average because they, they wanna be safe. They, 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 they don't wanna invest in themselves. They don't wanna, wanna do new things. 
Okay, so what's it gonna be the rest of your lunch? Average or memorable? Okay, as I said, guys, we're all gonna start at a different place. Some of you are gonna start flipping, some of you are gonna start with the cash flow strategy, but all of you are going to start and have to start. As we said before, so the online package, right? What it's gonna be, it's deal analysis, show you how to analyze deals, area research, how to raise finances, because that is most people struggle on years, they don't know how to raise finances. Student networking, imagine belonging to a network where you can raise funds continually, where you can, where you, where you have teams, where you, where you can get advice. Right? OTPs and structures, what structures you're gonna buy and what, what clauses to put in the OTPs. Goal setting and accountability, someone to keep you accountable. Right? Because I think that's what most people, just say, listen, have you done this? Go, going back to the video, um, referring back to that. So as I said, guys, we've come to the end of the webinar, right? So it's the online package, 12 weeks, one year's access, continuous support, monthly live webinar. The first one is starting the 6th of May. Resource center where you can download documents, a um, lot of resources on there. Connect you to a power team, attorneys, um, inspectors, um, builders, right? How that, that's powerful because that takes time and be part of the support network. So 4997 for that. And for the first 10 people that enrolled, right, Dave, put it on there, you get another 10 weeks of the flipping course for free. Powerful guys, and that's, that special is for tonight. Dave has put the links on there. I see a lot of you have already clicked on the links. A lot of you enrolled, we've still got a few spots left, Dave. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so go click on the link. All right there you go so the time is now to take action learn about property educate yourself in right so when we come out of the lockdown we are ready to go kumulani how are you kumulani was a lot of help from tough if it wasn't for kumulani i would have been lost um with 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 with, with the last deal kumulani helped me a lot thank you kumulani so guys we've come to the end of the webinar hope you enjoyed it um take action Click on the thing. Hope you've learned. Hope I've, I've, I've showed you some new ideas. Hope we've showed you what is possible in property. As I said, there's a massive opportunity coming up after this. Instead of complaining and, 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 and stressing and, and, and start, start positioning yourself and see where you can take advantage of this. And start, start putting a team together. Start um, getting into the network. Get the education, guys. Because the best investment you'll ever make is into yourself. Right? because you are the biggest asset in your business. Okay, so thanks for coming. We're gonna be on here, Dave, myself, for about 20 minutes. For those of you that wanna move forward, if you do have questions about the, 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 the course, how the course will work, we'll be on here for, for 20 minutes. We'll answer your questions. Guys, if you do have any challenges around finances, you have challenges, you wanna speak to us. That's why Andrew created the Property Academy. He wants to help people. We wanna see you move forward. All right, so well done. Give yourself a round of applause for, for, for taking time out and thank you. See you on the, on the training. So we'll be here for 20, for 20 minutes. Thank you guys. Cool, thanks Ray, really appreciate it. Um, so yeah, from my side, everyone, you've got the link. It'll come out of an email as well. Um, but otherwise, Leroy and I will sit around just for a few more minutes. Uh, if you do have questions about enrolling, how the course works, Happy to answer all of those. And then Roy, again, thank you very much, man. It was a good, it was a really good webinar. Thank you. Uh, well, uh, I'm not planning on releasing this recording publicly. It might go up on the members portal, um, but Leroy and I will make that decision after the webinar.